Hi, Desiree Holmes Cherini, and I am just stopping in to say happy January, happy, well, January 1st is what it is right now, but January 2018. And I want to share something with you. I haven't done one of these live, well, it's not live, I'm cheating, because this is the third attempt because my cat kept coming through and, and back, and I decided not to make it live. But um, I want to share something. I woke up thinking about this morning, um, and it was about those of us who are trying to share positive messages, those of us who are trying to raise the vibration um, individually with each person or even worldwide to help bring the level of hope and happiness up. And there is that, and I don't want to use the word fighting, but there, there is that trying to balance out um, with the things that might bring us down. So it, it's sort of like the news, you know, you, you turn on the news and you get bad news. Um, there was a good news station for a while. It didn't last because, yeah, it's kind of boring, okay. Every now and then the regular news throws in a nice story and, and people like that. It's like, oh, that's sweet. And what's funny is that story gets shared all over Facebook and, and Twitter and the bad news doesn't. So that's amazing, that's fabulous. And the more that we can share good news, good feelings, you know, good vibrations, the, the better everybody will feel. And my waking up this morning thought was uh, a little off to the outside edge of all this. There are those of us who study and read and go beyond the everyday norm of information. And if you do, then you know what I'm talking about. There is the being awake, being aware, recognizing that what we've been taught in school, what we're being told on the media is not the whole truth. It's a piece that keeps us quote unquote dumbed down. And understanding what is behind the truth can be very depressing and can lead us to feel like victims or hopeless or what what could I possibly do? But what we do have power over is how we feel, how we engage on this level. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then you can um, Google, you can Google. What would you Google? You could Google, um, you know, I, I don't know, uh, stuff like alien conspiracies and that could go all over the place. But um, government, it, you can look up government uh, con uh, information being released. Nonetheless, I don't want to go all crazy with that. So the bottom line is what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to get at is regardless of what the information is, there is information that can bombard us emotionally and bring us down. And then we need to create this energy that brings us back up and takes that weight off and in addition to that shares a light, shares a happiness level that spreads. And that's what will make a change for you, for the people you are around, for the people you live with, work with, and worldwide. And to find out more about that you can look up HeartMath Institute, um, do some reading, uh, some of the books by Greg Braden are really uh, great as far as understanding the dynamics within our body and messages that have been left from a long time ago about choices that we have to make. So without rambling too much, which I'm very good at, thank you, um, back to when I woke up I thought this is, this is a, a, a balance. Those of us who want to shed light are often the most aware or awake of what's happening and how do we not get buried by that and bring this light up. So it's up to us to create this hopefulness, this light, this strength of emotion that is stronger than the facts. And there we get into manifesting, intention setting, quantum physics, uh, 
current science is really bringing out some really cool stuff about what is reality and can we create our own perceptual reality through our minds? Maybe. Are there many options to our reality? Probably. So what I want to share with you in this new year is the idea that you can indeed create your perceptual reality and what you perceive as true is true to you and what each person perceives as true is true to them and once you let go of your perception having to be their perception and they let go of their perception having to be your perception we can all agree that what we perceive is true um, and, and tell you what all the arguments would be over it's like you're right I'm right unfortunately you both have to agree on that for there to be some sort of a real balance, but if you just acknowledge that everyone has their own perception, their perception is right, and you let your perception be to the highest level of your beneficial energy for yourself, for those around you, and for the world, as far as having a very positive, very uplifting, very hopeful and happy outlook, then you've got it made, and you'll be spreading something energetically that is positive for the people and the world around you. So. Sorry about all the rambling, but I hope you understood that. And once again, if you want to find out more, just read more on uh, HeartMath Institute. Uh, as i got to say, Greg Braden's one of my favorite um, scientist authors who understands the story behind the story. And, um, you know, Dear Wayne Dyer and um, Abraham Hicks. If you don't listen to that, then um, you're missing out because that's, it's a very short little clip so you can get continual reminders of where your power is. Uh, Dorian Virtue, educated lady with some really beautiful messages to share. Um, some of my heroes, you know, that, that uh, I've read and, and can you just continue to study. And, um, and I just want to continue to share stuff with other people because maybe you're hearing me and you never heard of them and now you have um, and I'm looking forward to talking to you more coming up oh gosh I don't know when in January January 27th I'm going to be doing a um, interview on Super Saturday Transformation TV and if you haven't channeled in you can see a, a video by me there talking about my book um, I have an online program there and coming up soon uh, we don't have the exact dates, but I'm looking at doing a weekly live TV uh, piece on, online where you can actually talk to me and ask questions, and I'll be sharing fun information. And maybe I'll have it a little more put together than right now, a little, you know, a little more in the box, but maybe not. Okay, well, Happy New Year. Bye.